so this is my first solo trip ever. So I've just paddled over to um, one of the islands off Philip Edward Island. Um, and I'm currently just looking, I'm calling it a bear check. So I'm just making sure that I'm the only one on this island. Uh, so far, so good. So I'm liking the look of this. Um, and then yeah, this is the view behind me. I don't know if you can see, but it's just the bay and it is so pretty right now. So that's what I'm looking at. But yeah, this was my bear check. So successful. So now it's just a matter of finding a place to set up my tent and then I guess that's it for the night. But yeah, I'm super excited. I was kind of nervous to come out by myself because I've been doing a bunch of trails by myself since I've been working up here. And now it's kind of cool to be out by myself. And yeah, I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. So yeah, again, that's the, uh, oh yeah, see, this was my weapon of defense had there been a bear on the island. So <laughs> yeah, okay, time to go set up the tent. Okay, so I just pulled out my tent and set it up and I had to pull out all the side strings that would normally be pegged into ground since there is no ground here, it's just rock. Um, so you can see it's behind me right here. Um, I just kind of piled some of my stuff in there because I don't know how well I tied the rocks. Um, so yeah, now I just have to go and get the rest of my stuff up here, put my sleeping bag. I kind of cheated and I had room for a full-size pillow, so it's blowing. <laughs> I'm scared it's gonna fly in the water. But yeah, this is super cool. Like, I've never ever had a trip out on Georgia Bay like this. I'm super excited. Okay, so I figured out a bear hang. Um, it's not much, but it's off the ground and it's gonna make me feel good. So, all I did was this tree right here. Can you see it? So right here, I've just tied the line up and then it's just up in the tree like this. Attach this, this is gonna tie out to my dry bag. And then I retied the other one and I just kinda like sling it up there. Um, yeah, and it's gonna make me feel better at night when I sleep, so that's all that matters. Always need chicken strips. Okay, so I got a fire started as you can see behind me. Um, and thank goodness I did. Uh, someone had actually left some wood behind. And then when we were in the parking lot, I'd asked my coworker to come along to take a picture of me as I was paddling out. And I forgot. I realized, uh, big spider. And then I realized that I forgot a lighter. Um, and I had just bought a new one, so it was kind of like, ugh, I don't want to have to go all the way back. It was only like a two minute drive back to the cabin, but still. So then Preston gave me this little Altoids container. Um, and it's just uh, full of matches. So thank goodness, because I got a fire started. And you kind of got to have a fire when you're camping for it to like be or like feel like real camping right so I'm really liking this being by myself thing <laughs> as much as I do like tripping with my family and my boyfriend I really like being alone which is kind of weird I totally thought it'd be the exact opposite but I'm feeling good I got the tent set up I've got got my chicken strips okay so 
I'm finally ready to sit and relax. Although I'm really nervous. I just saw a really big spider. And I don't know where it went. But yeah, it's nice just enjoying everything around the fire. And I found wood, so it's always a bonus. Okay, so I had a fire. I was gonna stay up and take some pictures of the stars, but unfortunately it was overcast, although the sunset was really pretty. Um, the sun was just shining through the clouds and all, but um, yeah. <gasps> Spider. Yeah. Um, there's so many bugs in here, like black flies galore. I didn't even like leave my tent door open. I tried so hard not to let any bugs in. And there's still so many bugs in here. Anyways, it was nice. I had some chicken nuggets and garlic bread for dinner. I pre-cooked everything last night. That way, all I had to do here was just set up and enjoy. So that was nice. And yeah, now it's just time to head to bed and enjoy sleeping in tomorrow. First time sleeping in and like so I like this whole being by myself thing. As much as I don't like it, I like it. Does that make any sense? I don't know. It makes sense in my head. But yeah, so good night. We'll see how the night goes and pick up tomorrow morning. I just woke up and I've slept in. It's 9.30. It was super duper windy. And one of the rocks that I had tied my, ro my rope to had come loose like the tent just like flew into my head like the one corner so I was like Ugh. so I piled all my stuff in that corner to hold it out which worked actually and then for the rest of the night it was good it just sucks like hearing the fly against the tent all night was kind of annoying but I'm not gonna complain it distracted me from hearing any other noises that I may have heard I have like full range view of like the mountains in Killarney behind me um, which is amazing Oh, glad that I did this. This was a really cool experience. Um, I'm looking forward to doing it some more, but yeah, the water is, now that it's light out, you can see like the blue water and the sun's just glistening off of it. And there's so many different cool islands around me that you can't really like see fully when it's darkish. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm gonna, I think one of the best parts about living so close is that you can literally meal prep everything so today I've got some overnight oats with apple and strawberry and the apples didn't even turn that brown so I'm pretty impressed. Going to attempt to do a Facebook Live with the drone. I think it's gonna work. I have really good service so I hope it works. Uh, this is, I should show you guys. So this is my little travel kit with the drone. So this one holds two batteries so two batteries have to stay loose in my other bag. Um, but all it is is it's actually it's a little Old, Sp Old Spice bag. Um, so inside I've got two batteries. I've got <laughs> a Crown Royal St. Pat's bag that you get, I guess, when you buy Crown Royal. Um, that actually fits the drone perfectly, so it's just kind of like an extra layer of protection. A DJI Mavic Pro, and it's the best thing. It's my best investment. <laughs> So, this is what it looks like before everything. This is the little really powerful camera. Take off. So I'm actually Facebook living right now, um, which is cool. So you can't see anything, but the drone's in the air. Join my sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> okay, so finished lunch and I think it's time to take the tent down. Okay, so I just finished K 
carrying all my stuff down to the water. Um, the water looks very tempting, although it's still very, very, very cold. Shoving till it fits. Eventually it's gotta. There we go. That fits ish. So this hatch has a lot more space than the front one does because these are smaller boats. There seems to be a lot less room in these ones than there does these others. So, so yeah, there's a lot more space in this one. Still not a lot of space, but pock it in, push it as far as you can get it. At least that's what I've been doing. Freaking, you know when you see those videos and it's like a bug lays eggs in someone's ear? I, whenever I get a bug in my ear, I freak. So I'm like, I'll be that 1% where the bug actually lays stuff in your ear. So all this yellow stuff that we see here is all pollen and it is so thick. It's kind of gross, but this is the culprit because this is what's been making me sneeze the past few days, driving me nuts, but the water itself is just kind of like along the shore is kind of tainted by this yellow right now. Um, as you can also see over here, it really sucks for swimming, but it'll only be here for a little bit longer. So thanks for watching my video. Um, yeah, that's about it. This is my first solo and I had lots of fun and didn't get eaten by a bear.